gives me a lot of uh, pleasure to introduce uh, Stevie Lama to you today. Um, she decided to come to the U.S. on very short notice, and this will be her first performance in the U.S. And uh, I'm happy to welcome her here. Um, Stevie is uh, both uh, an exponent of the Kuchipuri and the Bharatanatyam style. Um, she has been dancing to appreciated audiences for over 20 years now. She's an accomplished choreographer and a Nakuanar and has taught over 100 students in her Kanaka Sabha in Bombay. Uh, she has conducted nine dance dramas and has given several full-length recitals and lecture demonstrations in both styles in India, in Germany, in the Middle East, and in Hong Kong. As I said, this will be her first performance, and then she goes on to perform in Durham and then in Los Angeles. Uh, right now, she is serving as a Bharatanatyam instructor at the Vrindavan Academy in Hong Kong. She also holds a master's degree in electronics and is currently doing her MPhil in fine arts, I believe it's related, with, uh, related to sculpture. Um, Siri began learning to dance very early at the tender age of four in the Bharatanatyam style. She has learned from masters of both Pandanalur and Mukha style. Later on, at the age of 11, she began learning Kuchipuri from a renowned master Guru C.R. Acharyalu of Dhamma. She performs the entire Kuchipuri repertoire or marga and has given several full length Kuchipuri solo recitals. <coughs> She has won several dance competitions throughout her career and has been awarded the titles of Sringaramani and Nritya Shivali. In addition to all this, she also holds a brown belt in Taekwondo and has the Indian President's Award for Girl, Girl Guiding. So I shouldn't say too much more and let her
What you saw just now was Pushpanjali, as I told you. And you must have noticed that it was very earthbound, unlike Western ballet, which concentrates on going, leaping up, going into the air. This is completely opposite. And the reason for this is the social milieu in which these classical dance styles of India grew up in. Feathers. The Indian classical dance styles have Hinduism as their background. All the dance styles convey Hindu themes. And the main way Hinduism has been propagated is by making the gods human. That's why you see a lot of Indian deities with elfin headed deities, with a lot of stories. And the gods almost are very human in making mistakes and doing a lot of other things. So, this earthbound theory comes from this social milieu where most things which are abstract, like philosophical themes of the Hindu pantheon, are made more understandable to the common people, and this is the reason why it's earthbound. There are seven classical dance styles in India, Kathak, Manipuri, Odissi, Kuchipudi, Bharatanatyam, Mohiniyatam, and Kathakali. I'll just show a few steps from Bharatanatyam to give you an idea how this dance style is taught. It begins with pure dance technique, that is Adamus, steps, and the steps begin like this. The first Adamu is called 
that can be a beat on the ground very simply. And it's kept with the hand kept in this position and taps like this and then goes on to repeating it twice, thrice, four times, five times. And then comes the covering the ground. This one that is sweeping across the floor. Then you must have seen another arrow which are there, or step which are there. This is Sarika, or the light. Now in Bharatanatyam style, the movements are all square, in a sense. From here, so this, these two points, they form a triangle and then another point here, another point here, together a square. And even the movements are never ended with only the right side. If you go like this, the movements, you should complete right and left. With this Bhattanatyam dance style started in the temple. There were young girls called Devadatis or servants of God. And this dance formed a part of the daily ritual worship in the temple. That is, they used to perform like offering flowers lighting incense, lighting the candle, and performing. That was part of the daily worship of the temple. And so all the different items are arranged. So it forms a string of flowers. And this beautiful garland is offered to God. Then came a time when this Devdasi lost their social position and hence dance also fell into disrepute. And there came a revival about 50 years ago wherein this dance was brought back and brought to the social uh, stage. And there have been certain changes in this and uh, this caused a lot of revivalism in classical Bharatanatyam style. Before I continue, do, do you have any questions that I could pick up and... Uh, I'm fascinated about the spatial. Uh, you seem to move so full in space very broad sweeping movement through space. It, it, it's, uh, is that particular to you? It's very nice, very aggressive, very big. Um, no, it's not particular to me. Uh -huh. it, it is uh, inherent in the style itself. But uh, some performers uh, feel that uh, that detracts a bit from femininity. Oh. So they tend to pull back a little, little, and uh, my personality, unfortunately, is, <laughs> I mean, I like that, uh, I don't think it's aggressive, I, but it's, Spatial. I like covering space, and that was one of the few points which my, though uh, generally it is believed that traditional gurus, they call gurus because uh, uh, that's the way, uh,